hey, what's going on, guys? Blue Light Bandit here, and guess what? I've got another Glock. Imagine that. You know, I love my Glocks, but this one's a little bit different. This is the most powerful Glock they make. It is the 10 millimeter. And when I say it's the most powerful one, it is literally. You know, I've got the 9s, the 40s, the 45s, and there's actually one that's not pictured here uh, that I don't have out. It's put up uh, in a shadow case. Uh, but uh, the 10 millimeter, uh, if you don't know much about it, it, it was developed around the uh, one, Miami and Florida when they had that, that big shootout. The FBI wanted something more powerful than what they were carrying, and then the 10 millimeter was developed. It didn't take off, and I got an idea why. It kicks like a mule, but uh, it wasn't that popular back then, but for some reason, which I, it's an awesome round, it's picking up steam today and it's getting more and more popular because uh, it's a great gun. It's a great gun for killing uh, all sorts of things. A lot of people use it for hog hunting. Uh, you know, it's, it's a powerful round. And to give you an idea of, you know, comparison what this is similar to, imagine a 357 Magnum. You know how powerful those are. Well, in my opinion, and this is outperforms a 357 Magnum. Uh, 357 Magnum is going to have more penetration. That's what she said. But this, uh, you don't need but so much penetration, especially on a human. You know, this on ballistic gel, this does 16 inches. I forgot what 357 does, but it's a lot further than that. But this uh, flattens out, leaves a bigger hole, basically, than your 357 Magnum does. And you're getting the same velocity, if not a little bit more, out of the 10 millimeter. So, uh, you know, it outperforms the 357 Magnum. Um, and I'm just waiting for people to chime in on that. I really don't want to argue about ballistics, but, you know, it's a badass round. We'll just leave it about that. Uh, let's see. I'll give you a picture of the uh, look at the cartridge. It really doesn't look that impressive, but I'm telling you, <laughs> she's a handful. Uh,. Magazine holds uh, 15 rounds, 15 plus one in the pipe. That's a lot of ammo. That's a lot of firepower, guys. Uh, like this, like I said, it's real popular for people going out hog hunting and stuff. And I think no, my 45 don't even hold that much. It holds, uh, I think it's 13 maybe. Yep, 13 plus one in the pipe. Uh, it's the ugliest damn thing ever. I mean, I love these Glocks. I love the looks of them. A lot of people say Glocks are ugly anyway, but I actually love them. I think they look good to each his own. But these long slides, long frames, God, I think they're just so ugly. I like this one, the 17L, uh, man. But, you know, they're a tool. They're made for a reason, uh, a purpose. Uh, they're, not, they're not 1911's safe coins, you know. They're made to use. And... Uh, they do a good job at it. So, anyway, it's really hot outside today, but I'm going to see if I can get out there and pop off a few rounds and uh, show you how much recoil this thing's got. Like I said, it's a hand cannon, and I'm not real accurate with it yet because i got to get used to this uh, the muzzle rise and everything. Because like these, I mean, you've seen me, uh, seen videos where I've, this one right here and the 26, I've shot and hit a uh, 12-inch pie plate at 80 yards, and I hit a, a silhouette, uh, a 24 by 24 inch target at 200, over 200 yards, free handed with this. So I can get pretty accurate with these uh, Glocks, but this one is a little bit different story. <laughs> Where it's uh, top heavy or front end heavy, and you add that with your five and a half pound trigger and anticipating the recoil of that 10 millimeter. And let's just say I gotta get I got some work to do. <laughs> I got I got a lot of practice to do. But anyway, I'll quit yapping and we'll go out there and pop off a few rounds. All right, guys, I'm gonna fire off a few rounds on the with the Glock Model 40 10 millimeter. <sighs> Don't laugh, I miss. I told you. So he's got some punch. God, I'm not... <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> 
<laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> God almighty, that thing is a rocking. Oh, I love it. Clear. Oh my gosh. I'm in love with the Glock 10 millimeter. Mm, got my shit all wet and everything. <laughs>